What's up, you two? It's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com, and I'm here today to share with you how you can get your device ready for the Pangu jailbreak. If the time frame is correct that they suggested somewhere around a week, uh, maybe up to two weeks, then we're right around that time frame right now from when they demoed that jailbreak, Pangu jailbreak, at that uh, meeting they had. I forget the name of it now, but anyway. So if you aren't on iOS 10.3.1, I think it's time to update uh, a lot of people might tell you that you, to just if you're on 10.2 to stay there, there's not going to be a jailbreak for 10.2, guys. If it were going to happen, it would have already happened. And I can tell you from experience that it isn't going to happen. And even that being said, uh, if Pangu was going to release a 10.2 jailbreak, that would be the one they would have demoed, not 10.3. It only makes sense. So there's a few things you need to do in order to get your device ready. Number one, you need to do an iTunes backup. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's pretty self-explanatory. Just open up iTunes, click update or sync or whatever it is you have to do in there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Do a backup of all your stuff, all of your information, anything you might want. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is save your blobs, your SHSH blobs. And I'm going to be using the uh, TSS server. Uh, to me, that's just the easiest way to do it. And you're going to need one bit of information in order to do this successfully. Actually, two bits. I'll show you how to get both of them right here in iTunes. Right here inside, you need the ECID number. And you're going to also have to know the kind of device that it is you have. Uh, what I mean by that is whether your device, when you plug it in, okay, right up here at the top, you see it says model identifier. You're going to need that. iPhone 9.1, all right? That's telling me that on 10.3.1, I've got model 9.1, okay? I've already saved the blobs for the iPhone 7. Now I'm going to hook up the iPhone 6, and we'll save the blobs for it. And I'll walk you through step by step what you have to do here to, to let me uh, show you how to do this too. So now on this one here, it's saying that it's an iPhone 9 one too. Uh, and I can tell you that that's probably not correct. So let's go back out here choose the iPhone 6, and right here, that's right, iPhone 7 2, okay, because this one is on 10.2, all right, so we're, no, we're going to need to know the model identifier, and we're also going to need to, to copy the ECID number, just right, just left click or right click on it, click copy, and then go back over, you can close iTunes out now, Open up the tsssaver.1conan.com link. It'll be in the description below. Leave that on hex. Paste in your ECID number. And then come down here and choose the iPhone 7-2, uh, uh, which is the 6 right here. The iPhone 6. All right. That's what I'm running. But it was the iPhone 7-2 model identifier. And then all you have to do, guys, is click Submit. And it'll give you a link in about a minute or so it takes for this to save, or maybe not that long. But you can see up there at the top that it's done saving the ECID for iPhone 7 2. Now we're going to take this a step further. Further. We're going to go a step further. Did you all catch that? I'm going to open this in a new tab. And when it comes up, I'm going to save this to my Dropbox. I have a folder in my Dropbox labeled Blobs. If you don't have one, I would open up my Dropbox and create a new folder and, and simply just save it to that. I've chosen Blobs and click Save, and it'll save that to your Blobs. You're done, guys. It's that easy. But as you can see right up here at the top, it's also got a list of all of the things on the so, on the uh, Conan server, TSS server, 
of all the different blobs I have saved. So I've saved them for 10-2, 10-2-1, 10 2 10 2 one 10 2 3 10 3 one I got all those. So as you can see over here, the different dates that I saved those in January, two dates, one in March and one in May, which is today. Guys, that's how you get your device ready for Pangu. As soon as it releases, I will have a jailbreak ready. Be sure to subscribe to iPhone Captain. Stay close to the channel and the website, and we'll keep you updated. As always, keep coming back.